Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Halo Hub. Today I'm bringing you episode 12 of my Halo Reach racetracks with a map called Thunder Barrel. Now, uh, this is a really long map, but the fact, like, how awesome this map is just, uh, just really makes up for how long the laps are. As you can see, it's 6 minutes and that's like 2 minutes of laps, that's really quite long. But yeah, as you can see back there, there's this, uh, like a spawn to start, like a wait to spawn. And this jump's perfect, I love it. And just to uh, really get you into... That, well, or just show you what kind of a map this is going to be. You've got that uh, perfect jump and then two barrel rolls back to back. The first one works better than the second, as you just saw. The first one's perfect and the second one works good. And then I also like this, how he's had uh, tunnel longs at different angles. And uh, you have to be careful not to touch the side, all that happens. But yeah, um, he's got tunnel sides at different angles, which you can race on, which are actually really thin to... Uh, which is, yeah, they're just really, really thin. And then this is really cool. I'm, I'm not actually quite sure what it is. Because it's not a dish. Because uh, it's only like half of a circle. I think it might be a ramp circular. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a ramp circular. But anyway, as you can see, it's a half pipe kind of thing. It looks awesome. And that block there is meant to barrel roll you. And I can I get it working on the second lap, but not on the first or the third. And then there's a really, really sharp turn here. And this is, uh, it's got some quite, it's got three underwater bits, I think, which are really, which are really, really cool. I, uh, I, I love it. Um, I would definitely recommend this map for download, guys, as always. And, as always, the link's in the description for you guys to download. And, alongside with the Twitter link to follow me if you have Twitter as well. So, after you go through the underwater bits, you get launched up. And that is a perfect launch from a cannon vehicle, I reckon. And then a, uh, just a regular grav lift, which just pushes you onto the track. And then it also has one of my favourite elements, which is non-linear structure, where you're coming back up the track, but you may not actually realise it until you get to the top. Because um, on the way down, you may have seen the brace large. And I was like, well, what's that for? But when you come back up for the second half of your first lap, you'll realise. So there's that brace large. You come into some kill balls for the teleport to end the lap. And it's just... I don't really like teleports going back to the start, but um, this one seems to work. Just like the long laps seem to work on this one. See, so yeah, as you can see here, it's just... He's basically just used shield doors to just bounce you perfectly through the jump. And if you watch now, the uh, this barrel roll works pretty much perfectly. And then the second barrel roll, your back wheel does touch a little bit and you roll, if you see. But it's only me being picky. It still plays really well. And then... I'm really the, the fact that he went through and made the time to change all of these tunnels to like green and blue and stuff, and change the object color really makes the difference because it's just a lot more fun to race on really. And this must be crazy for competitive play because, I mean, this half pipe bit will be insane and so much fun, and then that bit up there will be really annoying and crazy, and like you just have it's just so thin it'll be so annoying and it's quite long it's quite a length of the track that's like that as well. And there you go, I get the barrel roll work in there. I think that's just, um, I think that's really cool. How, uh, maybe the reason I don't, I, I mean, probably the reason that I didn't get that barrel roll to work is because I didn't realise that it was actually made to make you barrel roll until this lap. Uh, I thought it was just there to annoy people or like there as like a flaw in the map. And when you go around that corner, I only actually noticed the block like uh, on this lap when I, when I barrel rolled. So if I knew it was there and knew what it was for, then I would probably have barrel roll a lot uh, earlier. But you see there that I managed to go up backwards, but you know, like a pro, I didn't let it. Um, I didn't let it phase me. I just turned around, kept quite a lot of speed as well. And it, I really, it's actually, a, a, it's a real achievement that the maker of this managed to actually make this half pipe work up and down because it's really easy to just not line it up right and just have it going uh, like down so when you come up um, it'll be like loads and loads of cuts in it and you can't actually get up it and in that one there's loads of cuts in it but you can only just about see them and you can still ride it completely fine or race it completely fine and then this jump's just brilliant I love the jump where it just kind of flicks you out at the end it's not just a huge jump and I have no idea what happened there I think it's because I went up on the right side and I didn't hit the shield door right but yeah that was just a complete disaster and then the checkpoints are also, like, just the placement of the checkpoints. I haven't actually tried to spawn on them, because in this, uh, I mean, in a run, if I don't get, if I die, like, and it's not a very good death, it's just a massive fail, then I'll reshoot it, or re-record it, so I don't actually, um, I just end the game straight away, I don't bother spawning on the checkpoints most times, so I haven't tried to see if those checkpoints are, um, are functional, 
They they must be. They obviously you can you can just assume they are. But um yeah, those those checkpoints like just the way they're arranged is actually really cool because it's like uh, vertical. It's just another little thing that makes the map even cooler and more barrel like. I think you could say. So yeah, I didn't really get the barrel roll that time, but I got the kind of the flip and then the kind of misty thing, the 180 roll and the, and the back flip, so that's cool. And then this this turn down here is really sharp. Like if you misjudge it, if you if you don't you sh basically if I had one tip for getting that turn right, it just turn really hard. Because if you turn too hard, you have about half a second to let go of the stick and you'll just and um, you'll just recover. But if you don't turn hard enough, you'll just go straight off the edge. So yeah, um, we're coming to the end of the last lap, or thereabouts, right now, guys. So um, I'll just round the commentary off and say thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to be notified when episode 13 is out. I'll be showcasing another map that I think is good. I'm not reviewing, just to let anyone know who is new. And follow me on Twitter and everything like that. Links in the description. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good day. Checkpoint reached. Checkpoint reached. Checkpoint reached. Land complete. Game over.